NTV. And you might go to the 2022 polls under a new electoral commission if the Building Bridges Initiative succeeds in making radical changes to the current commission. Besides many other proposals, the BBI wants political players to have a say in the selection of electoral commissioners. Vincent Odor explains. When it comes to constitutional amendments touching on the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, the Building Bridges Initiative focuses more on the composition of IEBC. It gives the president the mandate to appoint a five-member vetting panel that will be responsible for recruiting commissioners to the commission. According to the report, the vetting panel shall include a chairperson who is qualified to be a Supreme Court judge, two members nominated by political parties, one from the majority party and one from the minority party in the National Assembly, and two other members nominated by a joint forum representing religious organizations. When we pretend that people are politically independent, but we do know that people go in there with, uh, you know, with political views and they represent, however indirectly, political interests. So it's probably a wiser thing because it's an election body that relates to politicians to say let at least a number of those politicians be out there representing political interests. Our election has generally been clean at a technical level. But part of the reason why the election has no credibility is a lack of political credibility. If representation by political actors is able to give that election credibility, I think the, 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 country, the country benefits. BBI seeks to have a vacant position at IEBC be filled within 60 days of the commencement of the act. Following the resignation of four commissioners, IEBC currently has only three commissioners. The report proposes that after the commencement of the act, members of the IEBC who were in office on the commencement date shall be vetted to determine their suitability to continue serving in the commission. This means that the fate of the current IEBC chairman Wafula Chebukati and his two commissioners will be determined by the vetting panel. My reading is that people will want a new uh, commission. Maybe what they will allow this one to do is to, is to facilitate a referendum, if there will be a referendum. Almost every election in Kenya has been followed by claims of rigging by the Electoral Commission. This is an Electoral Commission, uh, the IPPG style, but it can no longer in my mind be called an independent Electoral Commission. It's just an Electoral Commission. In its Electoral Law Reforms report, IEBC had opposed the inclusion of political parties in the selection panel for commissioners. It had also called for a staggered recruitment of commissioners and reduction of commissioners from seven to five. Vincent Odur, NTV.